Big question is, will The Rise of Skywalker break a billion in the box office? And we got a pretty big clue with the first opening weekend. Let's take a look. So here we see IMDb, and they've got the opening weekend right here at 175.5 million and the worldwide gross of 373.5 million. Now, it's not a terrible start, all right? It's a little lower than projected, but it's not terrible. Let's take a quick look at what The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi did for comparison. So, The Force Awakens here did 247, almost 248 million in the opening weekend, and worldwide 2 billion. That's a lot. So I think the best way to gauge whether The Rise of Skywalker is going to break a billion or not is to see where The Force Awakens started, where it ended, and where The Last Jedi started, where it ended. And that'll give us an idea. So if this started at 247 and ended at 2 billion, it looks like starting at 175 could probably break a billion. Last Jedi here opened at 220 million, going on to collect 1.3 billion by the end of its run. So judging by that, Starting at 175, well, according to The Last Jedi, it'll be pretty close. Looks like it'll come close to a billion. But yeah, now they see The Last Jedi, kind of hard to tell. Either way, they make a profit in the film. But like people say, if you don't like this movie and you don't like the Star Wars direction of Disney, a lot of people have strong feelings and you don't see it, well, that contributes to a lower score at the box office. So my prediction, basically, I think it's going to come probably about a billion. Gonna be hard to say, but we'll keep checking this out as the week goes on. So there's the official report, and let me just read a little bit about the main problem, because it's right here on this page, and I want to get into this because it's not quite an opinion. We could go back and forth on opinions all day, all night, you know, Ray should be the chosen one, Ray shouldn't be the chosen one, I think she shouldn't, but let's go on something that's kind of factual. This film clearly displays this trilogy's biggest flaw, which is that there was no overarching story to this trilogy plan, and that is a terrible thing. Talk trash about the prequels all you want, they aren't secretly great or misunderstood. But, they did one thing right, they expanded the universe of Star Wars, more world building, more lore, some good, some bad, the prequel story, while Stilted was still a single version, you had a bad execution with good building blocks, and I'll argue two-thirds of a bad execution, because I think part three was pretty damn good. The sequel trilogy doesn't expand anything, instead it makes everything smaller. Star Wars has never felt so small and tired as it does after the Rise of Skywalker. Each movie exists just to tear it down and apologize for what came before it. Thank you, Last Jedi. Anakin Vader's entire character arc is completely and unforgivably undermined after this film, and I totally agree. And that's one of the reasons why, yeah, I can enjoy it like as a movie, but as a Star Wars movie, I think it just fails miserably, and I'm not sure how much of an opinion that is. But of course, I'm a sexist because Ray's a bad character, right? Overall, the movie was so bloated and overstuffed with choppy pacing to course correct from The Last Jedi, its flanderization and action. The original movies had so many little touches and so much atmosphere and craftsmanship beyond a few big reveals, neat action set pieces, and bizarre coincidences with the same 10 people running into another over and over. The original films built iconic imagery and characters in the context of them doing things and bonding and building, not always perfectly done, but enough to feel meaningful. You can't just write a movie with the assumption you already have all those things and skip the work it takes to get them. You can trick people for a while by using familiar imagery and beats and deconstructing the world with meta-humor, Abrams did that well for The Force Awakens if nothing else, but you just cash in that goodwill and cheapen all the stuff by association. That's exactly right. Oh well, the big action movies these days are indeed made for children in China. I can't remember who recently said that, but it's true. And it is. And I was just thinking something the other day. You know, the dialogue in Star Wars is pretty adult-orientated. Kids don't know these fancy terms. But that's not what this video is about. We will get into that in this channel. Because I'm doing Star Wars, pop culture, things like that. I just figured I'd throw that thing in at the end because it was on the box office webpage. And yeah, that's about it for this one. What a rough ending. Kind of like the way The Rise of Skywalker is in the beginning and the end of the middle. All rough, choppy. I didn't have this video planned out because I didn't plan it out according to the ones before it and according to the 
totals of other movies and it just didn't come out that so good because I just, you know, did it, made it on the fly and look what happened. Here we go, it's a big mess of a video. I will see you next time.